Hi, my name is Tony Armour, and four years ago, I had a total knee replacement. Before I had this knee replacement surgery, I was completely miserable. I was in pain. I couldn't do all the things that I love to do. I have always been someone who played sports and trained and went to the gym and was constantly active all the time. And because of the multiple knee injuries and knee surgeries, it had gotten to the point where I couldn't do any of that anymore. I couldn't even do the elliptical at the gym, the most basic of cardio exercises without being in crazy amounts of pain. So my surgeon basically said, just get the knee replacement. I didn't want to at first. I thought it was a old man grandpa surgery. I suppose I'm an old man now and didn't want to have it done. But after not being able to do anything for so long, pulled the trigger, had the knee replacement and couldn't be happier. I'm back to doing all the things that I'd love to do. Maybe not to the same speed and level that I used to do them, not as young as I used to be, but just being able to do them was what was really important to me. And I was able to do that because of hard work and training, basically. That's it. Just putting yourself through those paces, enjoying the pain, enjoying the process, so to speak, and really digging into the rehab and the exercises and making it happen. I can run now, I can play beach volleyball, I can go snowboarding, I can bike, I can do all the things that I've wanted to do and used to be able to do, and I'm back to able to do them now. I'm 52 years old now, had the new replacement when I was 48, and this is just some of the exercises and some of the things that I do in order to be able to continue this. Even though I got back to being able to do these things, you don't stop. You keep going, you keep training, you keep enjoying the process, so to speak. Get the dopamine hit from the actual activity and the work, as opposed to thinking what it's gonna be at the end. So, just wanted to share with you another update in the Knee Replacement Chronicles here, where I'm at four years later, what I'm doing, what I'm able to do. Still have some pain once in a while, but I've been able to work in a lot of new exercises and new things over the, uh, over the last couple of years. Continuing to look online and research and find new exercises and find new things to do really makes a huge difference because you want to mix it up and try different things to keep that rehab going. Don't do the same thing all the time. So I stopped in the middle of my 20 mile bike ride here so you can hear me over the wind here in beautiful Safety Harbor, Florida. It's a great trail that I ride on. <clears throat> but riding the bike has been one of the number one things that I've done for my knee in order to help it recover and be strong enough to do all the things that I like to do. The range of motion, the uh, strengthening of the legs, the non-impact from running or other things that you can do. Nothing better you can do when you're first starting out to just bike, 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 and constantly bike to really build that strength back up. So about halfway through my 20 miler, let's finish this thing up. The speed ladder that you saw, you can get a speed ladder for $20 or just get some paint, paint some lines somewhere to be able to create your own speed ladder. And that movement and that motion of the speed ladder, those quick movements, helping that quad fire on your toes. All of that really helped recover this leg and the atrophying of this leg from the surgery. So the speed ladder was really a big part of my rehab, doing that a few times a week to really get those muscles to fire properly in coordination with doing some very, you know, glute specific exercises as well. So just incorporating all those little things, all those little movements that work all those assister muscles in order to be able to put the whole thing together to do what you want to do. It doesn't matter where you're doing your exercises, where you're doing your rehab, just find a place to do it. Whether it's a parking lot or at the gym, I do a ton of my work at the gym, or you do have a great field or a track somewhere near where you live that you can do it. Get out there and take advantage of it. So a lot of the exercises you see me doing here, these are just simple form running exercises, stuff that I learned back in high school, running track and playing football. And what these do is it's you're not just constantly in a straight line, basically. You're moving backwards, you're moving side to side, you're moving the hips, because your body doesn't just move in one direction all the time. It doesn't go straight forwards and backwards. It doesn't just go up and down, it goes side to side in a different angle. So it's important in your rehab to work those muscles that move you in those different directions, those different angles. And if you wanna get back to playing sports, obviously you know how important it is to be able to move in different directions, not just be 
straight forward and backward or straight up and down. I think that's the problem a lot of people run into in the gym and their training. They're doing squats or deadlifts or lunges and they're only moving in a couple of planes, you know, up and down, straight forward and back. So incorporate those side to side movements, incorporate those angular movements into your workouts and I think you'll see a lot of results and have a big impact on, on what it's done for my knee and hopefully for whatever your injury is as well. I'm happy if I can help one person, let alone all the people that say that they've been able to be helped by this. So it's very, very cool, very gratifying thing. And that's really the reason I created this whole video series was to show people that you can do it. I had no idea. I couldn't find anything online beforehand. So I started looking around and nothing. So I decided, you know what, I'll do this and I'll chronicle what it's like to have a new replacement from beginning to end. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something useful out of it. Put a comment below subscribe. Let me know. Thanks.